This is the most famous real analysis book in the entire world, okay? So by far, it's so famous, it has a nickname. This is from the McGraw-Hill series in higher mathematics. Cool, right? And it is called Real and Complex Analysis. This book is amazing, uh, and it is by Rudin. Um, this is, a, I believe this is an EX library book or X library book, meaning that this book came from a library, okay? It came from a library. Um, this book is awesome. I will leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. This one actually came from the Mary Grove College Library, Monroe Campus. I don't know where that is. I have not looked it up, but that's pretty cool. It tells us the name of the library uh, right there. So that's the library that it actually came from. I just have to get a whiff now. I'm just gonna, sorry, just. Ah, so definitely the most famous. We're gonna look at a really cool thing here right in a second. It's awesome. I just wanna show you one thing. Um, and I'll try to keep this video short because this is awesome. Um, so here it is, Real and Complex Analysis, Walter Rudin. I'm gonna show you in a second. Professor of Mathematics, University of Wisconsin. I'm just gonna show you right now, I can't take it. Here's the copyright, 1966. So I'm gonna go backwards. We're gonna come back and read the preface in a minute. I just wanna show you something, like in the book, like in the actual book. I'm just gonna skip the contents for a second because um, the exponential function, this is undoubtedly the most important function in mathematics. It is defined for every complex number z by the formula. And they write exp parentheses z. That's basically e to the z. I don't have a pencil with me. I should. It's equal to the infinite sum. Look at that. That's awesome, right? So in calculus 2, it's the same, except you use x. And here, look at this. Look at all this mathematics in like three, in like just like a little piece. Like in one page, you have so much mathematics that it is just ridiculous. Like if you actually, it takes a lot to understand this. That's what I think is cool in some sense. Like there's a lot of terminology right in the prologue. Uh, the series one converges absolutely. So we, you know, we gotta talk about that, right? For every Z and converges uniformly. So what is that, right? On every bounded subset of the complex plane. So what is a bounded subset? So you do have to know a lot of mathematics to read this book and you get that feeling from it right away. Um, be, this is a graduate level math book, right? So this is a book on real and complex analysis. Just so cool. I love how it's just so concise. To me, that's beautiful. Thus, you know, ex the exponential function is a continuous function. The absolute convergence of one shows that the computation is correct. It gives the important formula valid for all complex numbers A and B. We define the number E to be exp of one, and it'll usually replace exp of z with the customary shorter expression e to the z. I was telling you that earlier. Note that e to the zero is one by one, right? Awesome, this is so cool. And then it has a, a theorem here. And yeah, I mean, just really cool. It starts with abstract integration. So let's go to the contents so you can see what's in this book. Um, so this is something that you would use in graduate school your first semester, it's definitely a hardcore book. I would say it's definitely not for beginners. Um, definitely not for beginners. Abstract integration, it's chapter one. Definitely um, worth owning. If you're studying real analysis, you, sh you should have this book. I, I don't think there's, there's a question to that. I think every person who learns real analysis should have a copy of Rudin in their library. I mean, as a collector, right, this is like, you know, one of the core pieces of any math book collection. Um, this is a very, very famous book. Most famous in the world, for sure. Fourier transforms. Harmonic functions, the cauchy riemann equations. Uh, really good stuff here. Um, yeah. Now, I never actually used this book for a course. I've seen these topics, actually, in different courses. For example, I've seen cauchy riemann equations and uh, complex variables and complex analysis courses. Um, I've seen the Poisson integral. Uh, in a, another course, the maximum modulus principle. Yeah, it's more complex variables. Yeah, pretty cool book. Ah, smells amazing. It smells amazing. Anyways, um, this is the math that you get, right? So hardcore, hardcore real analysis. Really hardcore stuff. What's this? Abstract integration. Let me just try to, let's just try to, uh, Let's go to the very beginning so you can see how it starts, like after the preface, after that, after the, this part here. Let's start here. 
set theoretic notations and terminology. Some sets can be described by listing their numbers. Okay. And then here we have is the set whose only member is X, right? This is a singleton set. More often sets are described by properties, we write. And we have this X such that, uh, you know, the set of all X that have the property P. Yeah, it's typically how we do it. And this symbol here, this is the empty set. That's the empty set. So that's the empty set. Um, the words collection, family, and class will be used synonymously with set. Yeah, that's good. Keeps it simple. Um, a, a lot of times, um, and this is just a personal choice, and I'm not saying this is the way people do it, and I'm not saying that you should do it this way, and I'm not saying I'm right in any way, um, but typically when I, and, and this is just me, when I use the words, like if, you know, I, everyone has their own style of proof writing, and so when I use the words family and class, and, and to me this is important, I, I, I don't know, I, I, so I'm going to mention it. I try to, you know, usually denote something bigger. Um, so I'm not going to use family or class for like the set of integers. You know what I mean? I'm going to call it the set. I'm not going to say the family of integers or the class. Usually it's something else, like uh, maybe something with functions or something a little bit more, I don't know, high level in some sense. So um, that's just me. And, and those things are personal, I think, in mathematics. Um, and I think they're learned. Maybe I've seen that in books. Maybe I've had professors who've done that. Um, and those are just things that you pick up uh, from books and from learning. Yeah, this is really cool. This is a really great book. I'll leave a link in the description. This book is definitely available, by the way, um, to buy um, because it's so famous. I think this guy is still alive. I don't know. I hope so. Walter Rudin. Um, legend. Dude's a legend. 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 But not easy. Um, how do you learn this stuff? Real analysis. I would say um, get this book and get a bunch of other ones. Um, if I remember, I'll try to leave some links in the description. But uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely one worth having. Um, no real analysis book, by the way. One thing I don't like about this book, probably the worst thing about this book is the price. Like, in fact, uh, most real analysis books, like graduate level analysis books, are expensive. Like, there's none that are inexpensive. Even used copies are expensive, which is pretty sucky. Um, so I don't like that because I'm, uh, yeah, it's not good. So yeah, that's one thing I don't like about. That happens a lot with more advanced mathematics, like graduate level books. A lot of times they're more expensive, which is kind of unfortunate because, you know, yeah. So, but... Real and con otherwise I'd have more books than I have, which might not be a good thing. So yeah, but if you want to learn math, I have courses. My website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathfits.com. They're out of Udemy, but use the links from my website. Check them out, mathsorcerer.com. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, it's okay too. Key takeaway from this video, everyone. The key takeaway is that this is a great book on real analysis. Um, it's a hardcore book belongs in every library. I did not use it for a course. I used it a couple times as a reference. Um, when I took real analysis, I used the book by Fallen. That's the one I used. But as a collector, um, this is the one I also have. So yeah, I just wanted to show it to you. Take care.